So a lot of people bust on the Power of the Primes Transformers toy line. And I think that it had a lot of gems, just as the Power of the Primes Leader Class Optimus Prime is one of the best Optimus Primes, one of the coolest gimmicks in a Hasbro toy. And we're going to talk about that today. Welcome to the Tidarium Hangar. Here to talk to you about this Black Bomba version of the Power of the Primes Leader Class Optimus Prime. And essentially, Orion Pax. The best version of Orion Pax that I've seen. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's take a good look at this packaging. It's its own packaging. It doesn't have any resemblance to the other one at all whatsoever. And I love the size. It's nice and big. This is a big boy. And here is the side. Metal deformation at the back. There it is. That's a nice box. I mean, I like, I like it. The box art's good. And it's pretty much anything that's prime sells. Now, this figure is simply a KO oversized version of the Power of the Primes Optimus Prime, Leader Class. And Leader Class, this is a Leader Class that would probably fit in well in a display of Masterpiece size-wise, but not aesthetically. Now, this one over here still wouldn't meet the aesthetic, but it's made a lot of different changes and a lot of positive things and a lot of improvements. So we're going to go through over that improvements, we're going to talk about this, and we're going to see which one is better. So the first thing I want to show you is the improvements that this has made. First of all, it's beefy and it's heavy. I don't feel die cast in it. I heard it had die cast. It's got some nice ratchet shoulders which are lacking here. It also has, if you can see, the top of the shoulders are painted red, which makes it look a lot better. And then the tops of this were silver or gray or whatever. Then going all the, all the way down, the arms. The arms were a big problem of mine. I was okay with the, the, all the uh, Road King kibble that it had on the legs, like the Road King, like the Fans Toys Road King. But I kind of did not like this here. And this is kind of junky to me and cheap, and it's cheaped out. But you go on down, and then let's look at the back. And it looks about the same from the back, aside from the paint apps that you see from the shoulders, and it looks about the same. Now, if you can see here, you have one extra layer of where you got rid of it on the arm. So it's a little bit more accordion. There's a little bit more going on down here. But really, does that make an aesthetic difference? No, not really. The other question I kind of have when the KO oversizes this stuff is how big is the port? Now, the guns are a five millimeter port. Raw. And with that five millimeter port, you can simply plug them in. Well, guess what? They upsize the port, so it's not five millimeter anymore. So that was always a question that I have when I'm looking at these things and the upsize, the KO oversize. Now, I, I'm a fan of all the KO oversize and, and the upscale. So when they started talking about the Power of the Primes, they said that this version looks like it borrowed a lot of the influence from MP10 when it made this whole frame of a truck that Orion Pax plugs into. And we're about to get into Orion Pax here in a minute. We're done with the overall Prime. But let me show you something else that is highly influenced by MP10. Now that is the KO oversized Weijang MPP10, so Weijang and Black Mamba. And the thing is that you can look and see how the shape of the thighs look, but then the knees are different, so they really didn't copy that. Then people talk about the pelvis, and so we're gonna look at that. And the pelvis looks sort of close, but it's still not a copy. And if you see the shorter uh, grill, it's actually more uh, cartoon accurate. But then again, I, I love this figure. And the MP10 mold is not a horrible mold. And I think this fixed the majority of the issues I had with the MP10 mold by making the legs smaller and thinner. So this thing still looks a lot better, in my opinion. There's the back comparison. And so, like on a 12-inch KO oversize, I think that 
it fits in really well and it looked really good. Let's get in here and look at this matrix chamber. And this matrix chamber is the same as the other one where you would get in there and open one set of shelves. Now the ankles, as you can see, I'm messing with it and it's starting to lean. The ankles are a weak point and I would have liked them to have figured out a way to uh, stiffen those up a little bit. And I feel like they've stiffened them up a bit, but it's still a weak point. And here is the matrix itself in the chamber, which I don't think it looks all that great. So the one that actually came with the Power of the Primes was painted and it looked a lot better in my opinion. And I'm not even sure if it has the gimmick where you can pop, maybe you can pop it out. I haven't tried and maybe I don't want to. But yeah, that, that, so that matrix is, is kind of a sad bit of business. I'm not happy about that. We're gonna set the matrixes, matrix size, matrixes aside, and we're going to close all this up. And we're gonna see what Orion Packs looks like. So there's a little button on the back to where you can slide your Orion Packs figure out. He's new and stiff and he doesn't want to go. A lot of the problem with this figure is getting this chest through here without causing any damage. Now, I don't know, I hear parts former, this is a shell former, and I don't mind it. Now, I know for the other one, there is, for the other one, there's a 3D kit that you can get, and I'm not sure where, just a buddy of mine told me about it and showed me his, that you can convert this into Optimus Prime and then have an Orion pack separate. Now, I wish they'd do a kit for this because I would do that in a heartbeat. So here is the Orion packs and we're going to do the Orion packs transformation. And while I transform this, since it's really not gonna need to be a tutorial on how to transform an Orion packs, it's going to be a discussion that I wanna have about this figure and, and how I came to have this loose one, it's not my, the, the figure here, this small one, it's not my, uh, mine, it's my son's, and I like it, I think it's pretty cool, and, uh, the thing is that my son got this figure because he had gotten a whole bunch of, uh, Christmas gifts one year, last year, and, like triples of the same thing. So I took all of his gifts that were doubles back and got him 25 or 30 bucks or something. And so he wanted this figure specifically. So I chipped in the rest of it for him and I said, hey, we're gonna share this. It's your toy, you can play with it, but when I need it for reviews, bring it down. It's no different than any other one, but it was just kind of something special. And it was like a, it's a fun bonding moment with my eight year old son who loves Transformers. And we just talk about how it's both of ours all the time. It's just a weird thing. Okay, so here are the Orion packs is all transformed up. And the one thing that, looking at it now, I'm realizing that I didn't do the hands. <laughs> that was such an easy transformation, I forgot the hands. Anyway, looking at this, uh, the new Orion Pax is about the same size as this guy here, as the uh, Optimus Prime, that uh, the, the other Optimus Prime. He is the same size. So he's probably the same size as MP10. Something that I found out that was kind of interesting is how much these things weigh. Just, so here's the entire Prime Forum, Power of the Primes, and it's 11.4 ounces. Okay, so there's, there's one thing. People talk about, you know, they associate weight with quality. Let's check this out. So here's, the, here's just Orion Packs, 10.8. That's like a, around a half ounce lighter for just the Orion Packs. That's insane. So here he is next to MP10 and Magic Score Prime. And he, Magic Score Prime looks like he's shrinking. He's getting shorter. I thought he was taller than that. But anyway, MP10 is uh, bigger. And so is Magic Square a little bit taller than him. But uh, that's a good size for me. Like to me, that's a masterpiece size. And in comparison, here is the little guy here. And just, I don't think that this little guy here could turn into that. And I, I think that like sizing these, this guy is sort of a deluxe. And then that feels to me like a deluxe to a masterpiece scale. And that fits and that works and I like it. And that's the whole reason I bought this. Okay, real quick, let's do a 360 comparison and 
just like the original one, the gun comes in two pieces. You got the big gun and you got the smaller gun. You got the back piece. The small gun is going to go in his hand. And voila. Now we're going to get to see this when we see Renee's collection, the conversion of Orion Pax, because that part, basically these pieces come off of the figure and then are another, they're connected to the other one with another piece. Now this, this toy is flimsy because my son's played the heck out of it. And this is, like I said, in the modern day, best Optimus Prime they've made in the modern day uh, of Hasbro. So not much looks different in the back. So there is that. So the only other Ryan packs that I've got, and I think they gave us two in the relatively modern line before this guy, is this one here. And it's not a great figure. Uh, I held on to it because well, there wasn't another one. But, you know, you're looking at 12 bucks or something versus having to drop 50 for this guy. And so now with this one, we've got, I say, a masterpiece scale version. And then I'm kind of sick of this was kind of like a, I don't know, War for Cybertron or something like that, Fall of Cybertron, some, something like that. But this is not Orion Pax. This is not what I think of when I think of Orion Pax at all, whatsoever. I think more like these guys. A couple of real small features I want to talk about before we get this wrapped up. But I do like the fact that you got this compartment in here. And of course, his head's there. But you still can store the Matrix in there. I wish it was sort of compatible with some other gimmicks or they included something to make it compatible, but it's okay. This is a good looking figure. I am really pleased with this guy. This is going to be my Orion Pax on my shelf for a long, long time to come until they make a third party, until they make, you know, my money is X Transbots would make a third party. But what do you think about this guy? Do you even care that uh, to have an Orion Pax I've got an Optimus Prime, and I really don't care about his history, or what. But I really thought the gimmick that they had with the leader class power of the Primes was really cool. Some of them weren't pulled off very well, but this one was. Like, subscribe, and talk to Aram Hanger out.